Fellas, it's that time of the year again. Guardian Games 2023 is upon us. And with it comes a brand new strand scout rifle, as well as the title SMG with new perks, as well as the PvP mode supremacy with a new twist, split strike playlist, a new event card, and some changes to how the event works itself. So we got a guide here to tell you exactly what's going on and how best to compete during this year's games. So you can ensure you're helping your favorite class, which by God, it better be tight. Now, once you log in today, you're gonna see a big Guardian Games pop-up showcasing the new Eververse armor and cosmetics available to earn and purchase, as well as the main gameplay loop to complete contender cards, earn medallions, and then claim your rewards in the tower. It also says to grab your event card from Eva Levante in the tower, so that's where we're gonna start. Once you speak with Eva, she'll give you your Guardian Games class item and the best in class quests, which tasks you with purchasing a platinum or contender card, which you can do right in Eva's menu. Now, the contender card comes in five different variations, Vanguard, Crucible, Game it seasonal and neptune each of which gives you a random objective for whichever one you purchase and when completed will reward you with a gold medallion now these also only cost a thousand glimmer for example a neptune contender card might give you the objective to defeat combatants with scout rifles or bows and complete activities on neptune defeating combatants with precision damage grants additional progress eva also sells platinum cards these actually cost 1500 glimmer but will reward you with platinum medallions now there's six variations of these trials knife raids, Neptune, higher difficulty seasonal activities, and lost sectors. Essentially, all the in-game stuff. Now, you can carry two cards at once, but only one of each kind. So one PvP card and one PvE card. For better chances of killing two birds with one stone here, you want to purchase either the Nightfall Contender or Platinum card or the Crucible Contender card, because the next quest step will have you doing either Strikes or Crucible. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you get a card that you don't like, you can always just abandon it and just buy another one. Eva also has bounties that you can purchase although these only reward bright dust and experience, not medallions. Now, for my players that do not have Air Apparent or its Catalyst, Eva will have the quest for you, and you can just pick it up from her when you first talk to her. Now, specifically, this next step requires you to earn medallions by completing activities with your Guardian Games class item equipped. Essentially, complete a Supremacy match or a Guardian Games playlist activity to earn your first medallion. Now, both of these can be found via the tower map. They're actually right here at the top, guys. But remember, you have to have your Guardian Guardian Games class item on in order to get those medallions. You know, a lot of us have like pre-saved loadouts and we even played a few matches earlier of Supremacy. I had actually clicked one of my pre-saved loadouts, which obviously my class item there with Guardian Games was not there. So I wasn't even wearing it. And of course I wasn't even getting medallions. Now, once you do this and you do get your medallion, you need to return to Eva. This will actually unlock the Guardian Games competitive playlist. Eva will then give you your medallion case. Now this case lets you hold all your medallions, but with the limit, five bronze, five silver, three gold, and three platinum medallions. Now, in this case, it also states that completing activities with Guardian Games matchmaking will grant an extra bronze medal upon completion. Now, after you grab your case, go ahead and deposit your medallions at the podium, and then you'll have to claim your first event challenge, which can be accessed in your quest tab. Now, once you claim that challenge, all the other event challenges will be unlocked, so you can view how to complete each one and what they reward you with. Now, these challenges also give you event tickets, which can be used to unlock the upgraded event card reward but this requires you to spend a thousand silver to purchase the upgraded card. Keep in mind though, this is completely optional. Next, you'll get a quest to speak with Zavala. They'll give you the quest shoot to score, which tasks you with achieving a bronze score for this week's activity in the Guardian Games competitive playlist. Then after speaking with Zavala, you'll speak to Shax and he'll give you another quest. This one called Vying for Supremacy, which tasks you to get a bronze score in Supremacy matches. Now, both of these quests will progress when you hit their respective bronze thresholds. Unlocking the ability to light those bronze scoring torches in the tower. And when you actually light up those torches, you'll get rewards. Then the quest will update and tell you to hit the silver threshold, which requires an even higher score and so on and so forth, all the way up to platinum. And these rewards, guys, by the way, they get substantially better. You'll get masterwork weapons toward the end there, multiple drops. It's very good. Now, after speaking with Shax, you then need to speak to Eva one last time and her quest will complete and you'll get a new Taraxippus scout rifle as a reward. And this is that two and a round per minute strand scout rifle that I know everyone's like cross it's just hung jury well it's a different archetype but I see why you're saying that aesthetically yeah now what is the gameplay loop for guardian games this year it's actually much simpler than the last year since collecting laurels has been completely removed from the equation here laurels don't exist instead you use glimmer to purchase contender or platinum cards these reward you with medallions also completing ritual activity rewards you with medallions and then you take those medallions and bank them into the podium to get rewards and to contribute to your class 
class standing. Now you can compete in Supremacy and team points earned in Supremacy will contribute towards your weekly Supremacy quests, the one we just talked about. And as you progress through the thresholds, you unlock chest rewards containing event gear and glows, and these chest rewards reset each week. You can also launch into Guardian Games, competitive playlists, and earn as many strike medals as possible to achieve a high score, which will do the same thing at each threshold. Unlock chest rewards containing event gear, buffs, and glows that reset each week. Now these buffs are for your weapons and abilities that are dependent on you reaching high score thresholds to unlock. And once unlocked, you'll have these buffs during the Guardian Games playlist. Now players with the highest score in Guardian Games Ops and Supremacy in the Tower receive the best in Tower Glow for each respective activity. Now the new playlists that are in the game right now specifically for Guardian Games are a little confusing. So here's a breakdown of each of them. The Guardian Games Competitive and the Guardian Games Recreational Playlist both force one Hunter, one Warlock, and one Titan together with their matchmaking. There's also a normal mode that doesn't force the multi-class fire team for the recreational playlist and two additional competitive playlists, match made and non-match made. Now these two competitive playlist options also allow any fire team composition. Now the supremacy playlist also has two options. The class matchmaking option, which matches you with the same class type against each other. That is Titans versus Hunters or Warlocks. And then the second option is just the supremacy playlist, but without the class-based matchmaking. Now it's not that obvious that there are multiple options to pick from unless you go looking for them. To access the playlist options, just select the activity mode in the bottom right above launch after choosing your playlist and you'll be able to select the option you prefer here. Now the Guardian Games competitive playlist contains all the Nightfall modifiers that we've come to know with Lightfall. For this week, you'll be running through the Hypernet Current Strike on the Hero Nightfall difficulty with Overload and Unstoppable Champions, as well as Arc Threat, Overcharge Weapons, and Void and Strand Search. Now the Recreational playlist is a more casual experience with power level disabled and a recommended power of only 1600. And you'll be put into one of the mini strikes available in the strike playlist pool. Now, if you're looking to purely optimize platinums, well, you know there's going to be a level of cheese here. It's already begun. Here are a few methods that definitely makes the platinums rain. And platinums are important here, guys, because A, they drop guaranteed guardian game weapons and they contribute to your class team score substantially. Now, starting with the Nia Muna Contender. This one is straightforward. Cheese Forever actually dropped the video on it. Essentially, they'll pick up the platinum Nia Muna Contender card, load into the Breakneck Mission, primarily this checkpoint right here, kill everything but the Wyvern with a specific energy type, of course. And this rewards you about 29% progress per run if you kill everything. And the second method is to pick up the Raid Platinum card. This one will require you to get the Shurichi checkpoints, and this gives you about 34% each run. Now, that's the TLDR. These two ways currently are the fastest way to earn Platinum medals, though. That being the Nia Muna Platinum card and the Raid Platinum platinum card. Now for the raid platinum card, you want to earn points by defeating combatants and generating orbs during raids and dungeons. And completing a raid or dungeon grants significant progress. Additionally, you can complete three encounters in any raid or dungeon. So sure, Chi, here we come. Now the best method we found was actually to hop on Thundercrash Titan, put on Thunderclap and Instrumental Skull for it with this build and just copy the mods from this build card, guys. We'll have a link to this in the description. But Instrumental Skull for it regenerates our Thunderclap after each kill. And our build increases our survivability, making sure we can generate our Thunderclap if we ever fail to get a kill with it. Now, because Shurichi is full of Shadow Thrall, you don't need to hold down Thunderclap to kill hordes. Literally just spam it here, guys. But considering the knights are, of course, beefier, you do want to charge your Thunderclap to get them in one hit. Now, there are diminishing returns with Heavy Handed when you don't melee each ad at a time. But either way, you have to do like three runs of Shurichi. And using Thunderclap here, we were clocking in at like four minutes and 30 seconds for our fastest runs. Now, if you rather go the Nia Muna route, you can grab the Platinum Contender card there and pay attention to the text at the bottom. Them, indicating which energy type you'll want to be using. It'll either be Void, Solar, or Strand. But you start up the Breakneck on Legendary. Get to the checkpoint right after picking up Strand for the first time, and you'll be able to rally for free here every time. Kill everything but the Wyvern at the end, and let it kill you to reset the checkpoint. This gives you, again, 29% per run. Now, we highly recommend that you delete the Contender card if it's Solar and Strand Contender cards, and instead make sure the Contender card you are picking up is titled Platinum Protector, which is the Void card. And for this, guys, you can just take advantage of Volatile Flow, on your artifact, avoid machine gun, echo starvation, void siphon mods. We're actually using a void titan here with armatarium, vortex grenades, shield bash, retrofit escapade, which you're able to clear it in just under 45 seconds per run. And that actually comes in under three minutes per platinum metal. Now we did test grass of avarice as that was one of last year's best farms, but that takes five minutes and 30 seconds longer than both the other farms. The only downside here is of course, you have to head back to the tower and pick up another contender card there from Eva Levante. Either way, if optimized correctly, you can get somewhere around 
12 Guardian game weapons per hour. Now, for those of you that are trying to get the title champ, it's real simple, guys. You can see all the different challenges and objectives once you've deposited your first medallion at the tower. And there are 20 of these challenges, but you only need to complete 16 to claim it. And again, very straightforward here as far as the objectives go. So guys, that is your Guardian Games 2023 guide. We will have reviews for both the Scout Rifle and the SMG. A lot of people already wrote off the SMG saying the title is not a good submachine gun. That is a lie. It is phenomenal. And we're going to be doing side-by-side -side comparisons between it and other SMGs in our deep dive. And we're also going to be looking at Taraxpus inside of PV, especially considering it is a Strand Scout Rifle, as well as doing some DPS checks on it. Now, last but not least, and we mentioned this in the patch note video we did earlier, going on for the next three weeks, we have somewhere around a 1.5 time multiplier when it comes to leveling weapons. This is across the board, guys. Whether you're completing activities or getting kills, experience toward leveling weapons is rewarding you at a 1.5 multiplier. And this could substantially save you time. In the least, guys, as you're doing the Supremacy playlist, in the final few seconds of the match, swap your weapons over that you need to level. And that is an easy way to level everything all at once. But if you're specifically trying to level a single weapon, feel free to check out our leveling guide here. That guide really goes into how to optimize leveling your weapons as well as taking advantage of the winner by glitch which is still yet to be patched well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right